Hi, this is Charles with a quick introduction into the assembly of bolt action miniatures. This is the first time I've really attempted to assemble a model based system and I wanted to give some tips out there to um, people who are um, interested in bolt action or I guess any other miniature system. Um, I found out with this particular set that it was easier to uh, assemble the bodies first. Uh, the first thing you'll do is you'll remove the bodies from the sprues and uh, you want to clean them up and kind of lay them out here. These are just the um, these are the full standing figures and these are the uh, top halves and the legs here that go together for a kneeling position. And then uh, I assemble them into this manner. The next thing that I'll do, uh, just because all the bases are pretty much the same with the round portion and the standing figures, and this allows me to kind of pick a configuration that I want to do um, as far as when I build my squads and stuff like that. So the next thing I want to do is build my squads inside of a program called Battlescribe, uh, which once you get the roster loaded, which isn't too hard at all, um, it gives you an idea of how to build a squad, and you take a look at the rules, and you decide how you want to break your units down as far as building NCOs and their accompanying rifles and different teams and things like that. Um, but since all the bases are pretty much the same at this point, I can pick and choose how I want to build these. Uh, another thing you do want to do is do not remove these sprues because they're all matched up in pairs. So uh, you'll look at the accompanying sheet, which will tell you um, which one is the standing position, which one's for MG42s, uh, which ones are for uh, BARs, and different, um, different types of weaponry that you have there. And you'll pick two of those matching uh, the, the sheet and then attach those to the figures um, as such, um, holding the guns that you want them to build. So since you are using a super glue type material, um, this is not super glue, but this is a highly recommended, I broke my tip off, that's why it looks so weird. But this is like a very good super glue that kind of ad adheres the, the plastic to the plastic. Then you'll assemble, um, you know, I would suggest just breaking them down. So I want four rifles, and then I'm going to take four rifles out and lay one rifle down next to each one, like so. And then I'm going to pull the arms off for each different position that I want. So you'll notice some of these are in a firing position, some of them are in a standing or an aiming position. And you can tilt them up or down uh, in different types of formats, too. Um, let's see if I can pull this other one out real quick to uh, show different positions on the battlefield. You'll see this one can hold a bazooka. Uh, this is just a little case that I made. I took some styrofoam just to keep them from jumping around and stuff. And you'll see the different types of rifles here. I've kind of sorted it with the NCO on the left, and then the, uh, the rifle teams here. And then I've got uh, different types of squads down the base. Now, I haven't started painting yet, but um, the heads are the last thing that I wanted to assemble, just because I'm going to use the heads to kind of identify the different types of units. So if you see these, they all kind of have matching heads. These guys all have smooth heads. So if they get mixed up on the battlefield, that you're supposed to keep them apart, but um, like one inch apart, so you don't have that problem. But the, um, the different heads can help you identify inexperienced versus veterans and make little notes. So as as looking at the battlefield <clears throat> and being able to tell what you have. So here's my main platoon commander, which is a second lieutenant, or he could be a first lieutenant, whatever I want to pay the points for. And then you buy and build the system however you want. Um, it's a pretty fun little system so far. Uh, as you probably know, it works off a dice mechanic where you draw either a green or a gray, and it activates either the Germans or Americans. Then you use that dice to order the different squads. So this is a squad. This is a squad, and these are extra teams that I can buy and add on to my point cost to make like a 500 or 750 point army and uh, play the game. So just wanted to uh, tell everybody, I made the mistake of taking all these arms off. And you talk about a mess. Um, I had all the pairs mixed up, had to try to, to mix and sort, and I'm still trying to go through it here. And as you can see, I've got a big pile of arms here that I'm still trying to sort through and figure it out. Um, the heads are very easy to sort, but it's just the arms that mess me up. So I just wanted to make sure that nobody else made the same mistake that I did. 
and uh, make sure to clean up the arms and such with a nice exacto knife um, before you attach them. It's good to go through and clean them all up before you do that. And I hope this video helped you some. Take care.